Today is National Photography Day, and Christy Bowe is one of the few female photographers who has covered five consecutive administrations at the White House, eight presidential inaugurations, the confirmation hearings of eight U.S. Supreme Court justices, and two presidential impeachments. Her book is called Eyes That Speak, One Woman News Photographer's Journey with History Makers. And Christy Bowe joins us live this morning. Good morning, Christy. Good morning, Dan and Robin. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. So we're obviously going to be showing uh, some examples of your work here. Five administrations, I imagine tens of thousands of photographs to choose from. How did you go about picking the ones that are featured in the book? Well, that was a tough choice. I have a uh, 2.5 million image oh. archive. Not all presidential, but uh, a lot uh, of that is. Um, I kind of made the selection by by events that were historic and also ones that had a nice backstory because in my book I try to, I, I do, uh, have backstories of what it was like to get a specific picture and what was happening that people don't necessarily uh, know about when they see the, the end result of the picture. When you're part of a press pool where every, a lot of people are having access to the same photos, how do you make yours stand out? That's a great question. That's something I strive for every time, uh, is that I try to look for candid moments. Uh, to me, the, some of the most uh, significant pictures I have found are when you are uh, there to photograph, whether it's like a bill signing, like a few days ago, I was at uh, the Biden bill signing there for the economy in the state dining room, and I'm behind the rope with a lot of other uh, photographers, and I tend to want to look around the room and see who else is in the room. And oftentimes, the, the moments that happen before or after what you're there to photograph yield the best images I have found. So go ahead and give us uh, some examples. You mentioned you described the backstory of some of your uh, photos in this book here. What's, what's one or two examples of uh, some pictures that have a really interesting backstory? Okay, well, uh, for instance, the Obama uh, swearing in that I put in my book that some people know this but maybe forgot about it and it was kind of uh, on the down low a little bit, uh, that when uh, President um, Obama was swearing in at his first inauguration, there, uh, G Chief Justice Roberts was for the first time swearing in a U.S. president since he himself was became um, a Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and he he memorized everything, uh, all the the oath of office, and then when he was was. Uh, asking, you know, saying the words to the president, to President Obama, he accidentally twisted two words around and misplaced them, which made that the whole inauguration invalid. Okay. And so no, no one knew that until they went back to the White House and the Oval Office and uh, Justice Roberts re reenacted the oath of office to President Obama and then it was all good. But, uh, and then no one else was allowed in for that except for the pers the personal photographer of Obama, uh, Pete Souza. He was he was uh, the one that was allowed to take pictures of that. And and all the inaugurations I have photographed since then, which would be Obama's second inauguration, President Trump, and um, uh, President Biden. Each one of those. Let me tell you, Justice Roberts has that piece of paper in his hand. Right. He's not going from memory on, on those 47 words. And that could happen to anybody. And, and they shouldn't have made a huge deal about it. But because, you know, just for the not embarrassing the, the Chief Justice, and I'm not trying to do that now either. I'm just saying that's the type of thing that I talk about in the book that maybe some people aren't aware of that had happened and actually from that point on our access kind of dropped a little bit at the white house starting then wow there was less press corps involvement and more white house uh, photographer involvement well for more you can follow christy on instagram and at imagecatchernews.com uh thanks so much for being with us christy appreciate it the book thank is called so eyes that speak thank you thanks christy